Welcome back guys. So in this quick video, I'm going to show you which plugin do I use as a professional developer who's making website from last 15 years. Let me know in comments which plugins I do not use and I should use. You can see I have 43 plugins installed and only 30 inactive plugins. I got 12 inactive plugins. I do not delete them from my website because I use them time to time. And also I keep them because I do not forget about them because I make these YouTube videos and for some people these plugins can be real nice. That's why I kept these 12 plugins inactive. So let's get into the list of plugins which I use once you like the video and subscribe to the channel because I will understand that you guys are liking my videos and you are learning something from these videos. And subscribing to the channel is free. I really appreciate that. Okay, so let's start with the active plugins. So first I am using Agismet anti-spam plugin which comes by default by WordPress. Super nice plugin to prevent the spam. Then I am using anti-malware security and brute force firewall plugin which is really really good plugin if you want to keep your website safe and secure. I created a complete video about it. If you want to watch that video, check the description of the video. And by the way, I created videos on a lot of plugins I'm going to show you today. So if you want to check any of these videos, check the description of this video. Then use extra widget plugin, which is a plugin which extends the functionality of extra theme and you can get so many extra widgets for extra theme. Then I use auto optimize plugin. Normally when you use Lightspeed Cache plugin, it is not a required plugin. This is a plugin to improve your website speed. But if you're using Lightspeed Cache plugin, you do not use this plugin. I kept this plugin because I was creating another video. Then I use this plugin backup, duplicator and migration. This is a really good plugin which creates a staging website in just a couple of minutes. So whenever I do something big on a website, I do it first on a staged website which is created by this plugin and then I implement on my live website. And then I use Contact Form 7 plugin and Contact Form 7 database plugin which is Contact Form CFDB7. Okay, so what happens when somebody submit a contact form on a website sometime mail is not working or anything can happen. So what this second plugin does is store all the submissions in a database on my website. So instead of getting just by email from contact form 7 plugin, I get all the data saved on my website by website contact form submissions. Okay, then I use cookie yes plugin for GDPR and cookie consent on my website, which is must have thing in EU and in some other countries. I highly recommend you if you're not using this plugin, you should use this plugin. Then I use duplicate page plugin to duplicate the pages on my website so that I do not need to create a new page from the scratch. I can just duplicate existing pages and use a duplicate page to kickstart my page design. Then I use Elementor page builder, which is the most popular page builder on WordPress. And it really changed my experience of creating websites. I do not need to code anything. I can create the complete website by drag and drop. And then I use Elementor header and footer builder plugin, which is a free plugin because what happens when you use Elementor free plan, you do not have access to create your header and footer. So by using this plugin, you can edit your header and footer without paying anything for Elementor Pro. Then I use essential add-ons for Elementor, which adds even more functionality to the Elementor page builder. It adds so many elements on Elementor page builder that really makes the website creation so easy. And then we have plugin health check and troubleshooting, which came by default with WordPress installation. You can check if there's some problem or issue with your website health. And then I use iTheme security plugin, this is the second security plugin I use on my website. I know I want to keep my website really safe and why not everybody should keep their websites really safe. So this is the second plugin I use it. Very simple plugin does the work. And then I use manage W worker plugin, which is a plugin developed by GoDaddy. You can manage multiple websites using manage WP and to connect this platform manage WP, you need manage WP worker plugin so that you can manage all your websites for manage WP dashboard. So to connect that thing, you need this plugin manage WP worker. Then I use MailChimp for WordPress, which send all my website email subscriber to MailChimp. And then there's another plugin I use, which is OMGF, which is to optimize fonts on the website. I created a detailed video about it. Check the description of this video. And then I use Query Monitor plugin to know which plugins or theme are slowing down my website. Real nice plugin, guys. I highly recommend you if you have some problem with your website, you can use Query Monitor. You can see here, if I click here, all this data is given by Query Monitor plugin. You can see how many duplicate queries are there and if there's any issue and which plugin is taking so much time on your website, I can know everything by this plugin. Really nice plugin, I highly recommend you to use this plugin. And then I use Sidekit by Google. This is a really nice plugin developed by Google which integrates Google Analytics, Search Console, AdSense and Speed Test. Everything in just one plugin. So you do not need to log in every time into Analytics or Search Console or check your website speed or the AdSense account. Everything at one place. I highly recommend you to use this plugin. And then I have starter templates, which I used to create this website. And it's really easy to create website starter templates. You have complete ready-made websites. And in just a few clicks, you can import complete web design with all the pages, menus, styles, fonts, everything. 
So if you're creating a website from scratch, I highly recommend you to use Star Templates plugin. And then for backup, I use Updot Plus backup plugin. Then I use WooCommerce, WooCommerce Payment, WooCommerce PayPal Payments to set up e-commerce on my website. And then the third security plugin I use, which is WordFence security plugin. Guys, you can use anti-malware plugin, you can use iTheme security plugin, but WordFence security is highly, highly important plugin. And I recommend everyone to use this plugin. And by the way, all this plugin I'm using, they're free versions. And there's a plugin WP Poll Survey. I do not use this plugin. I don't know why I kept it activated. And there's a plugin WP Table Builder. I use this plugin to create tables on my website. The ready-made tables you can use, just drag and drop on your website to create tables. Then I use WP YouTube Lite, which is a really nice plugin if you're adding YouTube videos on your website. So they make them load really fast. And then I use WP Optimize plugin to clean compress the database. I can use the same feature in Lightspeed Cache plugin, but I prefer WP Optimize. It's a little bit better for me to optimize and clean my database. Then I use WP Forms Lite to create some forms on my website. And then I use Yoast SEO plugin to keep my website SEO up to date. And yes, I use Lightspeed Cache plugin for speed optimizing my website. This is really, really nice plugin. If you use this plugin, you do not need so many other plugins to optimize the images for CDN, for web image conversion. Everything comes with this one plugin. If you want to watch the detailed video, check the link of the description. Okay, now just have a look on 10 inactive plugins which I don't use every day, but they can be interesting for you. The first is Add Inserter plugin, by which you can insert the Google Ads on your website. Add to any share buttons, by which you can add the sharing buttons on your website blog posts, on your website pages, so people can share on different social media. And then I use Asset Cleanup plugin. By any chance, if you cannot use Lightspeed Cache plugin on your website, and if you're using WV Fastest Cache, Super Cache, or WV Total Cache plugin, you can use this plugin on the top and can get really high scores. There's a plugin in rightly. I created this plugin by ChatGPT. I created a video about it. If you want to check, check the description. So I do not use this plugin. This was just example plugin. Then join chat plugin. You can use this plugin to add a live chat on your website via WhatsApp. So I highly recommend you this plugin if you want to add a live chat on your website. And then Redis object cache plugin. This is a really nice plugin which can improve the website speed for dynamic website if you have a huge e-commerce website. By default, if you're using Lightspeed Cache plugin, Redis Object Cache plugin functionality is already integrated in Lightspeed Cache plugin. So you do not need that plugin. But by chance, if you are not using Lightspeed Cache plugin, you can use this plugin to have really fast website front end and the back end. And then you have Smush plugin to optimize the images. Templately to get the amazing templates design which are ready made and you can just import them and create web pages which are really beautiful in no time. And then WebP Express to convert your JPG and PNG images to WebP, which I do not need anymore because Lightspeed Cache plugin does that work for me. And then in the end, W Code Lite, which is used to add snippets on WordPress website. I hope you get the idea of what plugin do I use every day on my website. Let me know if I forget some important plugin. And like always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. That will make me really happy and I will know that you guys are liking my videos and I'm able to give some knowledge to you with these tutorials. And if you want to create a free blog website, check out this video on screen. And if you want to know how I got 100 out of 100 score for Google PageSpeed, check out this other video on screen.